house has definitely affected every aspect of my life. I'm 22 now and I don't remember a time in my life where she's been sober. Alex is very oblivious to the pain that she's caused. My sister's gang up on me. They constantly criticize me and put me down. They show me no respect. Growing up in a small town, everyone just thought badly of me, thought I was just like her. Everybody trash talks my sister, whether it be on Facebook. She's had sexually explicit comments put on her mug shots. It's just really horrible. While I was in school, I was constantly worrying about her and what she was up to and if she was alive or dead. I couldn't really talk to my parents about anything because they're so focused on getting Alex help. I was always put on the back burner. When I was in college, I had to medically withdraw. I couldn't get out of bed, couldn't shower. I was just overwhelmed with depression. Everything that happens is blamed on me, no matter what it is. It is 100% my fault, whether or not it has anything to do with me. It's not fair. It's not right. Recently, I became extremely suicidal. I had to bake rack myself for a week, and I was put into an intensive outpatient program. Ultimately, I had to choose my own life over Alex's. I had to get away from the chaos. Moving to California has helped tremendously. I'm beyond fed up with this entire situation. I'm full of hate and resentment. Alex needs to change. You know, I've, I've always said that when a member of a family uh, gets sick, whatever the disease, the whole family is impacted by the disease, right? And it's the same with, with drugs. It's not just the one person. Every time you do something, it takes a toll. Like, you know, you say that Alex stole $4,000 worth of grandma's jewelry and family heirlooms. Well, I can tell you when that happens, that just takes out a part of your mother's heart. And when you're arrested for grand theft auto because you steal her car, again, this just takes out part of, of your sister because she now, doesn't get attention and, and it, it hurts her and it, it, it impacts your mother. It takes, a, it takes out part of your, your sister here. All, all of these things begin to have an impact. And when you break mom's nose uh, because she tries to stop you from driving under the influence, well, you know, that you think that's just breaking a nose, but that affects who she is. And then you get in February where you've disappeared with your daughter. Okay, now this is affecting everybody here. This just starts taking out holes and pieces of everybody. And so emotionally, you know, this is how they look. And when they say, We've got a niece that can demonstrate how to crush up pills and snort them. They go, what are we doing as a family? How are we doing this? When you physically attack them, that hurts. When they judge you and reject you, that hurts. Instead of bashing me behind my back to each other, making me feel like I'm the worst person in the world, but they literally are just going over and over and over in their head and out loud about all the things that I've done to them. And what would you like for them to do specifically? Let's, what, what would specifically would you like for Victoria's attitude towards you to be and how would she express that? I, I don't even, I don't, I really don't know. Like this is like news to me about how she feels. How is it news to you, Alex? I always try to express how I feel to you. You just don't ever really care to listen.